you think it's true that the more light you have, the better you can see what is trivial and outmoded in your conditioning? Right. <laughs> the more comfortable you are, the more luxurious you live, the more richness in all the dimensions of life, more is the possibility for you to become aware of one thing, that you have everything but you don't have yourself that you are surrounded by all the luxuries, there is nothing more to be added to it. But who are you? Living in a palace, but what the hell you are doing here? The question is bound to happen. The poor man cannot ask it. He is looking for bread, he is looking for his children's medicine, he has no house. You think he will start inquiring about his interiority, about truth, about the meaning of life? Is there a meaning? It is impossible life? for a poor man to be religious. That's why I say I am the rich man's guru. It has nothing to do with me. Only the rich man has the opportunity to inquire beyond the mundane things. The poor man, I feel sorry for him, but I cannot think that I should go to Ethiopia and teach meditation there. <laughs> they will kill me. And I am not suicidal. The world has enough technology now. If it's old prejudices and stupidities can be dropped. We can make the whole world a paradise. Nothing is lacking. If we can reach to the moon, if we can create so much destructive power, why we cannot create creative power? The same power can be transferred into creativity because power is always neutral. You can burn your cigar by the lighter, you can burn your house too. Cigar does not, your lighter does not give you any instructions what to do. Science has made available all the energies. You are using them in the service of death. Use them in the service of life. I would like the whole world to live so luxuriously that people start becoming bored with luxury. You should ask me how I am bored with Rolls Royces. How, how are you bored with Rolls Royces? Ninety Rolls Royces, anybody will be bored. <laughs> and my people are going to try 
to have 365. They are bent upon to bore me. <laughs> what you can do? And the whole earth is capable for the first time to be so luxurious that you don't feel any material need. All material needs are fulfilled. Then what you are going to do? There is nothing else than meditation. That is the only door that is left is still open. All other doors you have knocked and seen, there is nothing. Only one door is still open, inviting. And whoever has entered that door has never come frustrated, disappointed. Not a single case in the whole history of humanity that anybody who has reached the center of his being who was disappointed, felt meaningless, was miserable, committed suicide. Not a single exception. That's why I say meditation is a scientific thing. That's how science works. If you can find something without any exception, it becomes a rule. Meditation is a scientific method because in the whole history, nobody has denied that it does not lead you to the ultimate blissfulness. This is such a strange phenomenon that these politicians go on sympathizing with the poor people, with the starving people, with the dying people. And the same politicians go on throwing food into the sea. Ethiopia is dying and Europe has thrown thousands of tons of fresh oranges into the ocean. And the political leaders go on talking about sympathy, compassion. The religious leaders go on talking about sympathy and they are against birth control. They are against abortion. It should not be legalized. It's strange. They are responsible for creating more population, that means more poverty. The politicians are putting 75% of their nation's income into war, army, nuclear weapons, and people are dying, even their own people. 30 million people in America itself are on the streets. And you are creating nuclear weapons. And you are making a first to reach to the Mars or to the moon. You must have gone nuts. 